So we here in beautiful Montana, uh, we're visiting farm of organic um, organic grower. His name is Harold. Hi, Harold. How Hello. are you doing? Greetings. Thank you so very much for having us. It's been a blessing. I would probably would never come to Montana for whatever other reason. Yeah, so okay. thank you for your invitation. Uh, <laughs> so um, just a few questions before we finish. Um, when we were coming, what was your expectations from the cleaner? What is it you were looking for? Uh, I've been looking for some sort of a cleaning system that I could do myself since I'm an organic guy and then uh, yeah organic everybody's after quality and uh, I didn't know what type of uh, cleaning systems were out there that uh, could do those sorts of things so and I wanted something that's easy to do and uh, quick and fast but uh, the, I guess I don't know I got your guys' uh, email, I don't know, by accident, I think through the internet, and uh, I came across it. I thought, well, why not give it a try? And I heard you guys were in the area to do demonstrations, so uh, I was more than happy that you guys stopped in and showed me what you could do with my product. Uh, so awesome. Thank you for that. Um, so what do you say? Um, do do um, we deliver what we claim as far as the commercials you saw in videos? Do we deliver what we promise? Does the machine do the job? Side, yeah, I think you do. Um, I will know more when I take my samples to town than have them uh, checked out through the elevator. And I'm sure I'm going to see a significant difference because, like I said, you know, the difference between the, the category zones of how the, how the hard red spring wheat was coming out, uh, I could see a difference in, in the density um, of the product and that, how it was categorized. Then uh, also the, the color, which was really surprising to me because this stuff that you're looking at had a low uh, DHV of uh, 45% and uh, you have a hard time seeing that if we could separate out the good grain from the bad grain in that and bring that color back and density uh, yeah I think it's a good thing then on the other end the screenings uh, I've always had trouble with getting bigger finds out and uh, I sell a lot of my grain by bulk instead of by bag so I don't know quite how to get it set up that way, but uh, in the future I would use this for uh, uh, definitely for uh, treating or, or getting seed wheat for renewal for crops for next year. Um, like she said, you know, uh, this whole thing is kind of based on the cereal grain form of density, and then <clears throat> the more denser grain that you get. Uh, I think uh, the same germination time rate uh, will come up so yeah that's exactly what you that. can get 30 to 40 percent more just for um, harvesting the same germination you know field by planting separately each of the fraction yep. they'll give you the same uh, ripening time and harvesting time right, right. you just raise uh, just because of that your production and for me, being a simple farmer, to have your grain separated out five different ways is a little unusual. <laughs> so, uh, the, uh, to me, you know, there's good stuff and there's bad stuff. I want the good stuff <laughs> and the bad stuff. So, really, I only need it set up for either two ways to get cleaned out or three ways. And then but let's see if you want to get, if you can get a bigger buck for their, you know, for the better fraction. I, I yep. think I would. I yep. really do. And how about the foreign material? Uh, were you satisfied how it cleans out all the foreign yeah, the and foreign dockage? Yeah, material, that kind of struck me too because the bigger screenings uh, were not all in on, uh, on the last two, whatever you want to call them, category zones. They came out through the top and I was a little surprised at that. So like any type of straw stems or uh, There's a good grass also flies. Yeah, any of that light, real light material will blow out real easy. But then on the small and shrunken and broken kernel grain, that's where you'd see it in the category four or five, but uh, five would be the worst, four would be uh, semi-bad. Mm -hmm. um, 
the other thing I guess we never really talked about, you know, if you did end up with granite that had mold damage or something like that, I, I'm assuming that would be based on density too, and that would be kind of, would push those yep. bad grains out through. Yep, there, because too. they eat some, the mold eats up the grain and they right. become lighter as well. Yeah. And then uh, the other thing too that people probably never talk about, you know, for a guy like me and how short my summer season is, a lot of times I have to put my grain up wet and then I have to dry it right away and there's sometimes, I've never had buggy wheat to deal with, but I wonder if that would take that out pretty easily. It will, you just saw uh, for the moist, you just add a little bit more speed for the air and actually it does 2-3% to drying while it blows. But that wouldn't collect in any one of your categories, right? It would probably come out through the air uh, system when you add the air. I would suspect. Right? I mean, all the all the lighter mixtures. No, the 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 buggy wheat. Yeah, I. So, or I mean, the 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 bugs themselves. Yeah, exactly. Living, they would blow out that way. Yep, so. the bugs would be blow, blow out definitely. So, what do you think? You would be comfortable. To Recommend the, your fellows, um, like your friends, uh, yeah, family, I farmers. The... I would try it out for a demonstration. I think you'd be a little surprised. Um, I didn't know that it handled uh, quite a variety of different uh, grains. So that's uh, one thing. I'm pretty much a hard red spring wheat guy. So uh, that's where I'm kind of staying with it. But, you know, maybe down the road, if and when I did purchase one of these, uh, I would try different types of grains in there and, you know, airflow is terrific and density is too, so uh, that, that's the whole way the operation system works and uh, I don't see how you could damage it. Actually, we had uh, to run uh, malt. If you see some of the malt here, and uh, we run it for beer production. They have some sprouts in the mouth. Oh, is that right? Yeah, and we just did all, all the sprouts blow out. The sprouts will yeah, too? Yeah, because see. they make a beer bitter. So we uh, just did see, that. those are the things we didn't even talk about yet that I'm still learning on this. So, so um, pretty much what do you think? We'll hear from you September, October. You do your math and uh, you'll go from there. I'll try Stay to. Stay in touch. <laughs> All right, but, thank yeah, you so much you again. Bet. It's been a pleasure. Yep, thank you. Thank you for growing organic too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How to get your harvest to increase 30 to 40 percent and your investment return the very first season? The Farmers Gain Company is proud to present the revolutionary breakthrough in farming business. Our unique aerodynamic patent method to separate and calibrate any kind of cereals by their specific weight is the most innovative and effective technology in sorting equipment today. It is also the safest technology. Unlike screen grain cleaners, our sorting machines do not damage the grains. It also takes puny, crushed, pest damage and sick seeds away. With Farmers Gain Grain Cleaners, you're getting ecologically pure production due to the minimization of using plant protectors. Grains are sorted by size, specific weight, and biological value, which has never been done before in one step. Farmers Gain Grain Cleaner is the only sorting machine which can sort grains by size, weight, and biological value in one easy step using one machine. The first section receives all the heavy impure mixtures and stone. The fourth and fifth sections receive dockage. The third section receives ideal cash grain. And the second section receives the best possible planting seeds, all healthy, uniform, equal size and weight, and biological value and germination energy. Thanks to Farmer's Gain, any kind of cereal, barley, wheat, sunflower, oats, as well as beans and soybeans, you name it, having ideal uniform sprouts, equally grow and simultaneously ripen. Innovative Farmer's Gain grain cleaners make your harvest cleaning very easy, saving you time and money. Our grain cleaners easily replace three to four steps of grain cleaning process, providing preliminary seed cleaning, 
primary seed cleaning, secondary seed cleaning, and calibrating of seeds by their specific weight, all in one easy step. Light mixtures like husks, straws, and stems fly out through the air discharging section. Farmers gain seeds germinate and ripen simultaneously, giving you the best harvest results and highest yields by 30 to 40 percent. Use Farmers Gain to clean your harvest and get the best planting seeds, cash grain results, and increase your production 30 to 40 percent. Make a new technology work for you today. Let's grow your business together. Stay tuned for seasonal specials and holiday discounts at www.farmergain.com or checking your email newsletters from us.